Peace everyone, and welcome back to the Drawing Journal. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. I had a very productive weekend. Two weeks in a row, who would have thought that was possible? So the first thing, um, I did a marker review of the letter set trio markers and I drew this and colored it and stuff for that demo. So if you didn't uh, get a chance to check that out, you can go see it in my videos. Um, it's actually, I, I made it a, a drawing journal. Um, so it was the one before this uh, that went uh, live on Saturday morning. And also I did a couple uh, videos from the concert that I went to that I mentioned last week um, had a few people that wanted to see the raw footage from those uh, so I have those uploaded if you're interested you can check them out and then also I drew this um, yesterday and this is an inking just of a, a koi fish um, I'm going to do a product review of my watercolor pencils mm. Maybe before the year ends, I'm not sure if I will get to coloring it, um, but hopefully I will soon. Um, I started another portrait also that I hope to have finished um, in the next couple days. Uh, the video for that will be three weeks, I think, uh, two or three weeks out. Um, I have a few other videos that are scheduled. Um, this Thursday will be a drawing tutorial or a general art tutorial. Um, so yes, and then next week is surprise video that I didn't tell anybody about. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into this. And if you have followed me, or actually no, um, I, finished, I finished the hands. Uh, that I've been working on the last month or so. And uh, yeah, so here's the final product of those. They, um, they came out really good. I definitely, definitely feel much more confident with getting skin tones, working with colored pencils to get the skin tones. And I feel like I'm almost there, almost ready to, to work on a colored portrait. Um, still a bit nervous, but I think that... Uh, I think once I start, uh, I'll just take my time, do my best, I guess. Uh, I don't know when that project is going to be started as far as, um, as far as it being completed. I have no idea. Um, after, after this week, I am going to be working full time, uh, illustrating a children's book, so I won't have time for uh, any of my other little side projects or videos or anything like that. I'm still trying to figure out a way to document the process that I plan on taking. Um, however, I uh, haven't quite come up with anything. So if you have any ideas, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, anything that you'd like to uh, ask me as far as like what process I've already taken is far as illustrating a children's book or anything like that and um, yes I, I normally leave this for the end of the video but I don't get many questions uh, with these videos so if you do watch this and I know some people watch this stuff I mean unless it's the same person watching it a hundred times I don't know um, but feel free to ask me any question you want uh, I'm more than happy to answer them, and uh, yeah, and I will try to get to them next week, or not try to, I will get to them. Uh, nobody's asking me any questions, so if you're watching this right now, just pause the video and ask me a question. I'm sure you can think of something. But anyway, um, I was super excited after I finished that, uh, finished, finished the hands here, and so I immediately found... Um, a picture that I'm going to draw in uh, this is actually a picture that I took so um, yes I'm, I'm excited about this picture um, I, I did the I did the legs 
So this was my first practice with the skin tones. Um, not a lot of like complex shading or anything real difficult with these. Um, the hands were definitely a real challenge as far as skin tones go and capturing the detail. Um, so this was a really nice challenge. Um, and I thought, I thought doing, I thought doing a wider range of skin tones that I need to be a little bit more precise with the, the colors and the shading. Um, so I have this picture that, uh, I took and, um, so it's just another skin tone practice. And I'm going to try to start on that. Um, basically, let's see if I can just choose a color here, then maybe I can get started. Uh, but yeah, I thought that it would be good to kind of get, um, to, I don't know, it, it felt like a good challenge to do. All right, that's, that's all I can really say about it. Um, I think it's going to be pretty difficult to get these skin tones that I have here. Um, and I drew it as big as I could so that I could capture as much detail. Um, because these, this sketchbook page is quite small. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's as small as it is. But yes, it, it is. Um, my quarter for school is finally closing up. It's just about complete. I have, um, I have this week and then next week I have three finals that I got to take and I will be done. And, uh, I will be working on my illustrations. Um, also I wanted to mention that, uh, for these, these drawings here that I did, I, I uploaded the line art um, so anybody can can download them, print them out, color them, do whatever they want with them. Uh, yes, so feel free to do that. It's on my DeviantArt page. The link is in the description for my DeviantArt page. So yeah, feel free to download those and color them. And uh, it's actually something that uh, I think I might to a larger project in the uh, coming up next year, I might try to create like a, a coloring book of some of my line arts. Maybe take some of my old drawings, update them, and uh, upload the line art. And yeah, I think that might be something that I would like to do. If you'd be interested um, in in stuff like that. Uh, some of my line art to uh, color, you know, let me know um, if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to draw or something like that. Feel free to let me know. Right now I'm just laying down um, a light coat of peach color. This, this color uh, this, these colored pencils, they seem to just blend so well on this paper and, and layer really well that I can just kind of get this as the base, the base color and then work from that. And it seems to, seems to help a little bit, kind of get me started with the rest of the colors. And, uh, yeah, so that's the technique that I'm using which feels like just scribbling at this point. See, this is what happens when nobody asks me any questions is I start, I start looking at my drawing and not talking. So make sure you ask me a question. Let me know that you watch this, these videos. Let me know who you are. Who, who is the, the, the 60 plus people that watch these videos? I never know. I can't, I can't thank you if I don't know who you are, but, um, yeah, 
thank you. If you if you are for some reason too shy to leave me a comment or a question or say hi, you know, thank you, regardless of your level of involvement. I did I did kind of do a lot of work on um, this um, this past week, but I did leave the skin part alone, and uh, obviously the the gray part um, I'm going to do more detail on and stuff, but uh, I just I did the background because I figured uh, whatever I can I can do that at least and not not worry about it. Hopefully this drawing won't take me uh, five months to complete what felt like the hands did. I felt like I was working on the hands for a long time, so I hope hopefully it didn't get too boring for all of you. Oh geez, we're already at 11 minutes. That went by quick. The um, uh, collaboration that I did with Color Pencil Magazine with the cards, um, I had the drawing, uh, it felt like months ago, but uh, I just got an email saying that those are out. So I'm excited to get that and show everybody how it turned out. I saw the proof of it and everybody that worked on that collaboration. I think there was, um, how many was there? There was 12, I think. I can't remember. I think there was 12 people that did it. Hmm. Or was there 16? I don't know. There was, a, there was quite a few more people that did it this time. Um, and it came out really well. Uh, it, yeah, it looks, it looks really good. So I'm excited to show everybody and, um, that will be coming soon. Right now, there's not a new collaboration project in the works. However, hopefully um, there will be one for January because I can't wait to do another one. I'm going to I'm gonna try to do every single one of them. I love doing them. They're so fun to do. And I will um, share that the moment that I can with everybody. Uh, so if anybody is interested in joining those collaborations you will have the opportunity to as soon as i can announce it as soon as i know you will know and i'll always i'll post it on my facebook page and twitter and stuff like that so if you follow me on any of the other social media sites you you'll see it there probably you'll see it there before you see it on youtube but I'm kind of just working all over the place right now. Um, it doesn't even look like I, it doesn't even really look like I did anything with the skin. I should try to, um, try to block something. I just, I don't feel like I have the colors that I want, which is unfortunate. It's not even showing up. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just use a light brown. And see what I can do here. Try to get, try to get the image to show up just a bit more for you before the, in this video. Just so you can see what I'm working with. The the lighting in this uh, photograph is is just gorgeous, and I'm really hoping that I can capture it as well as the photograph. Um, it's, it's part of the reason that I chose this because the, the lighting and the colors uh, is really where the um, where the challenge is going to be in, in capturing the realist the realism of the the photo because that's that's what I'm really trying to go for on this one. Um, I'm gonna see how how well I can capture the lighting and everything give myself a good challenge because um, that's what the purpose of this is. Yeah, so something, something like this. It's a little bit better. You can kind of see now, <laughs> maybe I still, I'm still coloring quite lightly. I still, even though, um, even though I've, I've worked with the flesh tones for a while, I've worked with colored pencils for over a year now, I still hesitate with my color choice. 
Uh, I feel like I do pretty well with the uh, color matching and everything like that, but I still hesitate with it. And I, I always start like really light. And uh, I mean, there's not a problem with that. It's just like, if you, if you build up enough confidence and you know what colors you need to use and all that, then you can kind of just go into it and not have to, not have to slowly build up the colors. Um, but I still, I still do it really slowly, even though the, um, the value here where I'm coloring is actually quite dark. Uh, it's just, just the way that I do it, I guess. I, and that's one of the things I fear the most about starting a colored portrait, because I feel like I'm going to be working on like one teeny tiny spot for like days and just slowly build up color and just, it's going to be really light and washed out for like weeks before I finally move into a coloring it good. And it just, it, it's, it kind of drives me nuts. I, I need to get over it, but I just don't have that. I just don't have it down yet. I like to, I like to work slow and try to get it just right. I'm afraid to add just too much value, but I'll get there eventually. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say this is the end of the video. Um, hopefully you can, hopefully you can see that a little bit. I mean, it's starting to come to life just a, just a bit, just a bit. I don't, I don't want to work on it too much. Um, cause I, I feel like there's not a lot to do in this, but I might do the, the grays, gray part a little bit, kind of leave the working the flesh, uh, flesh colors for, for the video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see it. Um, and I will see you all next week. Hope you have a lovely week and a great weekend. Um, don't forget new video on Thursday. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and all that nonsense. Don't forget to, um, leave me a comment too. And, uh, take care. Peace.